Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Lyric. Today I would like to do an energy reading for the sun sign of Aries. Um, I'll pull some oracle cards to get an overall feeling for the reading. I'll also use um, tarot to get past, present, and future energies. Um, I already shuffled my cards, so I just wanted to um, mention that if you're watching the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. If you are guided to book a personal reading, I'll have details for that in my description box. So um, what, um, what do we have for Aries? So the first card I have is Universal Love. I, since this card is here and I have the opportunity to read the book on Universal Love, I'm going to pull the book on this, okay? I hope that you don't mind. But I've intuited this card before in some of my other readings because it's come up. Um, so I don't know which readings I used that card in, but I actually think I posted a picture of it. So if you're uh, interested in, in, in an intuitive version of this, um, take a look at the older readings, okay? So this is the number 14. So uh, if you're if you've been following my channel for a minute, you, like I said, like I'm not afraid to mention that I'm new with tarot and I'm new. Um, I'm, I'm a new intuitive guidance person. So um, bear with me, okay? Um, anyways, this card graces you with the energy of the divine mother and holds the energy of creation and pure love. This is a love that resides within every cell of your being. You can access the infinite wealth of love that resides within you, within you at any time. This card suggests you've been seeking love or approval from outside of yourself. This can create pain and you may feel disheartened that this love has not been reciprocated. This oracle is encouraging you to dive into love. You are now ready for the love you have denied yourself by thinking that self-love was a selfish act. Be reminded that it, is a, it, that it is selfish not to be the love you are. You can access your inner love simply by accepting yourself in this moment and in every coming moment. Just as mother accepts and loves her children exactly as they are. The Divine Mother sees you through eyes of perfection, which indeed are eyes of love. She holds each and every human in love eternally, just as they are. You are also being guided to take care of yourself. As this mandala indicates, it is time to replenish and practice self-nourishment. The Divine Mother is a nurturing energy comprised of three core elements, the teacher, the carer, and the inner child. On some level, you have taken on an over-responsibility for your loved ones. This message specifically relates to children if you're a parent. Children require the freedom to be true to their divine nature, wilts being guided by the loving energy of their parents. Remember, each child chooses their parents before incarnating, and often the most valuable life lessons comes through the relationship between carer and child. Be the love that you are and allow your children or the people in your care to spread their wings and find their way. Let's get another one. So that was pretty, uh, that was a lot. That was a mouthful. So I hope that you were listening to um, what that oracle was saying, okay? For your next card, I have the Divine Masculine. Cool. So just um, balancing those energies. Um, uh Caring for oneself, okay? Um, and sometimes um, caring for oneself is, um, if we're not doing that, then that means that we're not in alignment with our divine feminine energy. And with this divine masculine energy here, that um, you may not be in alignment with your masculine energies as well. So taking action, okay, to, to, um, to self-love, taking action to step back away um, from your children and allow your children to... Um, to learn on their own at times, okay, is something that I'm feeling. Oh, and the cards are right next to each other, 15 and 14. So there could be just a little bit of, um, out. Of, you could be a slightly out of alignment with your energies at this time is what I'm feeling, Aries, okay? Nothing wrong with that. That just need, um, just some awareness and some healing and some attention, right? That's all that that means. So I'm going to get some uh, more cards for you. Messages for Aries. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aries. What do they need to know for their highest good? Okay, that was awkward. <laughs> Messages for Aries. 
Okay, these ones. And they're almost the same exact color, which is interesting. So the first card you have is Lar Larimar, my apologies. Sensitive emotions, times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. So I am really starting to feel this energy of healing and needing to take the time to take care of oneself. It could be that you are resistant to this, that you um, don't want to sort of be in that softer position where you accept care and you accept help. But it's I'm feeling that source needs you to um, take a step back and um, and get some and get some healing and take some self take take time for self care. Okay. Um, you also have the emerald ceremonies and celebrations it it's a time of important life passages such as weddings birthdays graduations or anniversaries so i'm not all that familiar with um crystal energy yet i'm learning but maybe um uh, it's you're coming up to a place of um there's a, a celebration you're headed for um i know in the united states memorial day is next weekend Maybe you're planning a party for that, and um, you're going to need your energies to be um, to be present and to be available to your guests. So just be aware of that and um, take time out for yourself, Aries. Okay, because we can't be um, of service to anyone else if we're not in service to ourselves. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the tarot. I'm going to use these tarot cards. So uh, messages for Aries. I'm going to actually do this shuffle. What do they need to know for their highest good? Uh, messages for Aries. What do they need to know for their highest good? Messages for Aries. Okay. So I have the moon, the hermit, the knight of cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so in the recent past, there was a situation, um, and I, and I sometimes I do feel, and this is also um, the Mother archetype here. So once again, with this Universal um, Love card here, there's some um, divine feminine um, healing that needs to happen, some alignment that is um, that your energy that your energy field is seeking. Okay. So um, let's take some time to um, to work with that, okay? So you have the moon card here, so representing the mother, okay? Also representing um, uh, some um, fears. Perhaps you've been um, avoiding certain um, certain aspects of your past. Um, and the reason that I say certain aspects of your past, because when we ignore certain aspects of our past, it replays itself in our future. So um, because you didn't deal with um, that wound, that wounded mother, that wounded mother wound from your childhood, if perhaps your mother was absent, even if she was an, a, a present mother, but she didn't treat you like a mother should, then you carried that um, that wounding with you as an adult if you never went um, back in time and, and kind of tried to heal that and took care of that inner child yourself, okay? So now it's the time to cradle this inner child, okay, Aries? And comfort it and ask, for, and ask what its needs are. And um, just mostly pay attention to what it's asking for, okay? is what I'm getting. Um, and this is in the recent past, but this is still attached to you in this um, present energy, okay? Check out Libra's reading as well, because Libra had some um, of that um, lingering negative energy that she couldn't, he or she couldn't shake as well. So check out Libra's reading I did um, two days ago. In your present energy, you have the, um, the Hermit card and the Knight of Cups. So I do see you here um, withdrawing slightly, I do see that you're um, taking a stand in your um, masculine energy. You are um, fighting for your own um, uh, healing here. Um, but I, I still feel that you are um, kind of ignoring that feminine, the feminine needs, okay? That self-love, that self-care, that nurturing. Like I feel that you're nurturing those around you, but you're neglecting yourself, Aries. So um, take the time to fill up your own cup 
and um, and take care of your own needs, okay? In the um, in the uh, present or the future in the near um, future energies, you have this um, uh, Knight of Pentacles, which is just a slow. This this energy is kind of vague. It's just a slow, stable energy coming towards you, and this could even just be um, you. But once again. Um, it's it's a night and this depicts the masculine energy. It's still you're still um, ignoring that feminine energy is what I'm getting. And at some point, if you keep neglecting the, the feminine, it's going to catch up with you in different ways. You could, um, you know, go through a dark night of the soul. You could fall out and you can experience burnout. Um, so it's you need to. Um, I'm going to pull some more tarot cards for you to get a few more messages. But I am really feeling that you're, you're just neglecting this um, feminine energy. And I'm getting the sense of like the person that's viewing this video that, that they're um, very independent. And they do things um, in their own way, by their own way, without anyone else's help. But you know what? You gotta. I under. I totally understand that and respect that. But it. it um, every once in a while, you have to take time for the feminine. Okay, balance things out. So let's get some more um, tarot cards. Messages for Aries. What do they need to know for their highest good? We have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles to clarify the Knight of Pentacles. So I, I see in the past that you want to, I know that um, you have the Ace of Wands and the Five of Cups here. And so I know that digging deep into the past, is it hurts. And it's um, not what you want to do. And it causes a lot of heartache and pain here, okay? But um, you don't have to, if you are unwilling to do that on your own, maybe it's, it's you know, you should get um, a dear friend to be with you or a, a therapist or someone that, um, will, it, that can do... Um, age regression therapy with you because I feel that um, it's something that you want to do but you're afraid of doing it okay and I also know that here with the moon card that um, it's something that you're afraid of doing but it's kind of um, hindering your um, it's not you know it's not like a huge huge deal but it is kind of affecting your personal life and it's affecting your personal relationships and mostly it's affecting you. It's um, draining your energy and um, yeah, it's just mostly draining your energy, okay? Um, you have the two of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Uh, you're just juggling a lot. You have a lot of responsibilities. Um, you're in this king of pentacles energy, just the one taking care of everybody, being super responsible, um, you know, delegating tasks and always showing up on time, maybe earlier to make sure that everything is done the way that it needs to be done. But there's no one here taking care of this king. He's here all by himself. And you, he doesn't even, like, he's not even in his own, this is a picture of a statue of the king of pentacles. He's not even here to, um, to show himself, like, is he so busy doing other things? Like he's constantly taking care of um, other things and other people and the way the life should be or whatever. But he's not even here in this picture. It's just a um, a um, stone picture of him or whatever, a statue. So it's just something to think about. Like it's totally fine. You have the right to live your life any way that you want. But just it's um, uh, noticing that, um, you know, neglecting your feminine is um, hurting you. And that um, it's, it is affecting your personal relationships and that you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to heal by yourself. You can, um, there's people out there that you, that you can trust that can help you. Take it easy.